Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So this reading will be about, is there anyone new coming in for the Aquarius Collective? Now keep in mind that everybody is on a different path, you know, in their life and they're doing different things and all of those things. So everybody's not going to be the same. Um, so, you know, it could resonate for you. It could not. All right. So just take it as it does. All right. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So is there someone new coming into the Aquarius life? Is there someone new coming into the Aquarius life? Is there someone, is there a new romantic partner coming into the Aquarius life? Is there a new romantic, the Wheel of Fortune. Very nice. In due time, you will get who you deserve. And the Wheel of Fortune talks about intuition. It talks about your psychic abilities, heighten yours or someone around you. It also talks about perfect timing. It talks about timing altogether. Also soulmate talks about soulmates maybe even love at first sight um that's what the will of fortune says so we do have a yes answer yes okay it, it's something about your fate and destiny okay so being at the right place at the right time um destined okay all right can you tell us about this new romantic partner coming into the aquarius life all right i got these two cards let's well, okay. All right. The seven of swords and the page of cups. All right. So, um, with the seven of swords, this person could be sneaking around. They could be sneaky. They could be the lone wolf. They could like to go it alone with the page of cups. They could be emotionally immature and they it could possibly be a need for them to be more, Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, they just so they said um it's somebody that you don't suspect. Somebody that you don't suspect. They like you, they they know you, it, but it's going to be a happy surprise. Does Aquarius know this person? Does Aquarius know this romantic person? Do they know this romantic? Okay. The strength card. Yes, you do. You have a particular history with one one another. It could be that this person is holding back from you, okay? Something about not being able to trust them. There's the vulnerability factor there. You don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to be vulnerable. Trust is limited. There's been a lot of mystery, deception, uh, somebody trying to get away with something going on here. Tell us about this person uh, this romantic partner coming into the Aquarius life. These two cards came out, the Ace of Swords and the Death card. So it's like somebody is, um, seeing clearly, seeing the, uh, truth of the matter here with the Death card. Maybe that, um, there are no distractions here in order for this person to get confused about how they feel about you or what they think. They're computing in their mind accurately because you aren't around, um, nor are others. Also, they understand that in order to have you back, they're going to have to come solid, stable, truthful, honest. They're going to have to make some change, maybe irrevocable change, you know, where they, they can't go back. Something about truth and clarity. The death card says that they're going to have to really be different. You know, they're going to really have to transition. Especially if this is somebody you, you have from your past. What else do you want to tell us about this person? This this uh, ro love, this romantic love interest. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, they could see you in that in that light. This person, something about healthy and having having to get to a more healthier state of being uh, of uh, existing. Maybe even in their finances. There had to be some significant change that they that had to happen in their finances. They had to be able to take care of themselves. Maybe other people too. They, if they're a caregiver to someone else, okay, this wanted to show its head because it fell onto the floor. The devil. Um, yeah, something about maybe this person's uh, worthiness. They didn't feel worthy. Maybe in terms of... Um, how they treated you. You got the strength card and the devil card. So it's like maybe this person took advantage. 
They took advantage. They kept things from you. They kept you bound to them by way of activity, sexual activity, manipulation. They were false. Something about them was very false. Let's see what else. Let's get another deck. Let's see what's going on here. Because um, we expected to get some new energy. Okay. And not old energy. What can you tell the Aquarius about this person? This romantic interest coming back into their life. Oh, this person was broke and broken. For some of you, it's going to be that. In terms of money, they were broke. And in terms of their spirit, they were broken. Yeah, spiritual growth. Wow, you can't make this up. This person had to go through something. They really had to go through something. Um, they had to lose you to see that, you know, it was them. It was them all along that they needed to grow up. With the Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups, they were very immature, emotionally immature, hiding things, manipulative trying so hard to get away with the fact that they weren't ready for this type of connection. They saw a lot of value in you and they knew that you were valuable. So they would do anything, everything to keep you by way of the devil manipulation, keeping you bound uh, by whatever they could give. And it was very little and it was false and it was out of a place of fear, lack and scarcity. What else do you want to tell the Aquarius about this person? Okay, new career. Yeah, this person felt like they needed to get a new career. They needed to start something new. They needed more money. The Queen of Pentacles came out for them with the devil. So it's like maybe they weren't they weren't good with money. They didn't feel worthy because they didn't have enough. They were still actively building their wealth or building their career or building themselves up. There's also maybe a queen of pentacles in their life. Maybe there's a wife or there's someone else. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to pick up another deck. All right, so how does, what's the outcome here for the Aquarius? What's the outcome for Aquarius? What's the outcome for Aquarius here? In terms of this relationship. High honor and despair. So it's like this person saw a lot of. Um, again. Intuitively. Seven and at five. Uh, intuitively they knew that you were very valuable. Especially if they look at you as the queen of pentacles. But they knew they didn't have a lot to offer. With despair here. They knew that. Um. You know, eventually you see them for who they were or what they were, or what they didn't have. Uh, and then you would, um, they were just waiting for you to walk away, Aquarius. But maybe you didn't or you did or um, they added to the breakdown. Maybe they, the breakdown of the connection of the relationship. It was like self-sabotage also. It was, let's see. Now this person wants a new start with a child. They understand it's going to be a lot of work or it's going to take a lot of work. But they want reconciliation. They want to come back. They want a, another shot. Maybe in the springtime. They feel like it's going to be a lot of work, but they want you to allow them to come back. What else do we have for the Aquarius here? How does this end? They want you to hear them out. Judication. They feel like... um. They, they want to communicate with you. They feel like maybe you y'all need a third party or mediator. Occupation. Again, something about you got new career over here. Occupation and toil and labor. Like maybe this person was putting their occupation first. They didn't care too much about the relationship. Uh, their occupation got in the way. Maybe there was a third party that they were dealing with at work. Or you were the third party. Something about a new career. Let's see if we can gauge anything here. I'm so sorry, Aquarius. You saw me ask the question. 
Is there anyone new? But it, it just seems like old energy. We're in that season where people do want to resurface. We're in the holiday season. They can resurface, but it's about what you do with this, Aquarius. You don't have to take anybody back. Um, this card fell onto the floor, love. So they do love you, okay? Whatever their idea of love, they feel that for you. They do have a love for you. Um, but I feel like you, Aquarius, you're in that energy. I can't, I can't, and I don't take you serious. You just kind of shrug it off because of what has happened before. Um, let's see what else do we have. They feel like your body is perfect. They like everything about you. Um, let's see. They could be addicted to you, your energy. Um, I love your smile. You both could feel that way about each other. Yeah, they're trying to save their their marriage. If you're dealing with someone who's married, then they were trying to save their marriage and have you. And then for some of you who you know they aren't married or they didn't have a committed relationship outside of you, um, they want to save this connection with you. Let's see what else. Yeah, they were hiding several secret affairs from you. That's because you were so valuable to them, Aquarius. And it was like they, it was almost a level of intimidation. Let me just keep a lot of different energies around me so I don't have to feel so much for the Aquarius. I can divide my energy, my time, my love. Yeah, hurt people, hurt people, let it sink in. So this person was already hurt and hurting. All right, we're going to leave this this last deck here. I think Aquarius, oh, okay. So, that, but, uh, so Aquarius, if you can navigate the waters of this person coming back correctly, then you can get your new person if that's who you want, if that's what you want. For some of you, you do want this person to come back and they will. Um, and if you guys navigate it correctly, then you'll stay together. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, um, somebody definitely wants to make amends, communicate with you, but they feel like you're going to reject them. Uh, I heard apply pressure. Whoa. They're coming back as pages though. Wow. Three pages. So this might be a false start because this person hasn't grown up yet or, or they haven't gotten it or, uh, it's just words because keep in mind pages are earth of, okay, let me show you what I'm looking at. Right. <laughs> okay. Yep. I get it. Now. Uh, all right. So, um, Page of Sword, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. So pages are earth, right? And we know that when we talk about the suit of earth, we talk about groundedness, we talk about real things, tangible things, the realness, you know, of life. This crystal comes from the earth. It is real. Um, but when it's a page, it's just communication. It's just news of, so it's just words. And that's how you ground anything first. You, you say it, right? You solidify it in your words. But what the cards want you to get is that these will just be words. And that's why this could easily be a false start. Because then, you know, the progression of would be, the knight of, you know, the knight of cups, and then the king of or the queen of, and then there, you know, there's other cards that could indicate, you know, solid offers, but when you have three pages like this, this person, um, they could want to come back and have this, the whirlwind romance, a makeup session, you know, they could say really good things, to make you think that they have changed and they're, they want this really super healthy relationship and they're going to be consistent. But they also can kind of uh, be very petty, argumentative, um, and always reaching, always searching. 
and maybe even at times maybe quiet in terms of communication to where you can't read them with the page of of swords it just seems like it's and when we get that many pages it talks about false starts so it's just it might not be time for this Aquarius it's just not time and our first card was about time it was the will of fortune it might not be time especially for this person um maybe from the past to show up in your life okay and it it just really solidifies what I said because then we have justice in the eight of wands. So it's like somebody wants to make something right with the justice card. Maybe apologize, work off some karmic debt or debt is owed. Maybe they owe you money, you know, um, they, they actually owe you money or they feel like they owe you because you were so great to them. Um, but there's an energy of obsession and they feel like, you know, if they do all of this page energy, the obstacles, the blockage will go away and then things can move quickly. But it says, stand your ground, apply pressure, four of cups, withdraw your your um, emotions. Your emotions are withdrawn, Aquarius. Or the, somebody's emotions are, they're emotionally withdrawn and they're being very self-centered. Okay, they don't, oh shoot, they don't like losing and they, they want to fight for what they have or what they thought they had with you also. But again, no offers, no offers of stability, commitment, a forever type of energy here. Just more so feeling like you missed the boat, you missed the opportunity, now need to, you need to come in with that destructive influence and if I have a destructive influence, then I am... You know, I'm, I'm not constructing and then I'm also pulling away, you know, my, my influence, you know, I, I can make you, if I were sinister, you know, just an example if I were sinister and you guys, and I have influence over uh, my subscribers and I was like, look, go to this tarot card reader and flood their channel with all kind of negativity then my influence is, is very destructive, you know, like it's very negative, you know, um, and this, this is that person, you know, they want to come in and get you off center. It says, uh, take, be the advocate in your own life. Okay. Fight your own position, whatever your position is, even if it's only you that feels that way, if they try to garner, you know, um, if they try to garner help from other people to see, they say, see, my, my I talked to my homeboy and my homegirl and they said I was right and that you're wrong and you just need to give me a chance. You know, no, no, no. Fight, fight for your position here. Because this person wants to come in with that destructive influence. And if you take the advice of the cards, you will be the star. Yep. You will be back in right standing with the universe. You will be, you know, accepting of you in totality and fullness of you you'll understand exactly why you went through this and we did have the strength card so be strong be courageous and knowing that if you have to take this minority position it's going to lead you to the star card to getting your hopes your wishes your dreams fulfilled and it might not be with this person because it just doesn't look like they're ready they just want that valuable thing that um highly regarded that high honor thing that is you that is this relationship so that's what i have for you aquarius i try you can't say i didn't try those down those who always comment about i want new love on a new person at least comment below and, and say okay you tried all right give me that you know, give the cards that, uh, say you tried, right? Um, if it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Uh, put some stars down in the comment section because you guys are going to navigate this very correctly, very accurately. You're going to understand that maybe this person is just not ready for you. Maybe not in this lifetime, maybe the next one, maybe in, in years. I don't know. Uh, but it looks like you're going to have to go through to get through 
to the other side, which is you back at center. The star card. All right, so Aquarius, put some stars down in that comment section if it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. It is the end of the year. Get your six-month tarot card reading done for yourself where you can always go back to the reading. You'll have it. You can always listen to it uh, each month and see if it resonates for you. I think that's always fun to do. Um, so if you want to get your six-month tarot card spread done, um, it will be linked below. Just go over to the website. Also, if you want to learn the tarot with me, the classes are linked below. And um, what else do I have? Do keep in mind that I am here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys once again. Many blessings. Happy holidays. Take care.